It's uh, my music online 24. I had a lot of comments on my video asking how I lost the weight and stuff, so I figured I'd give you guys a little tutorial on how I did it. Uh, I use myfitnesspal.com, which is myfitnesspal.com. It's uh, free. It's a calorie counter, but it's also, it also tells you how many calories you should be eating to lose the amount of weight you put in that you want to lose. Um, it's free. So you just click here or join now. And uh, this is all the stuff you have to enter. You need a username, an email address, a password. And I hit continue. After you hit continue there, they're going to want like information about yourself. They want to know if you want it in pounds and inches or if you want it in kilograms and centimeters. So standard or metric. Uh, current weight, my current weight, 225 in there. A goal weight, I like to get down to 200. My height, I am 6 foot, 4 inches. Male or female, male, date of birth. I just want all this good stuff. standard stuff. Where do I live? Not the United Kingdom. I live in the United States. Right underneath the United Kingdom. You don't need to put your zip code and all that in. Uh, how would you describe your normal daily activities? This is what. This is how they figure out how active you are. I don't know if you can see any of this. I'll try to zoom in a little bit for you guys. Right, can you guys see this? Let me try to adjust a little bit. Yeah. You just want to know, uh, you spend most of your day sitting down, example, a bank teller, desk job, no. If you're lightly active, you spend a good part of your day on your feet. Active, spend a good part of your day doing some physical activity. And very active, spend most of your day doing heavy physical activity. They give you all kinds of, like, different job examples, like a waitress or a mailman, they're active. Very active, bike messenger, carpenter, lightly active, salesman. I'm put that I'm active. I spend a good part of my day. I'm actually in school for carpentry right now, but I'm not on the job yet doing it every day, so I'll put active. How many times a week do you plan on exercising? I work out usually five to six. Uh, I'm going to put five in. Workouts are usually an hour. They want it in minutes, so I'm just going to put 60 minutes. Uh, and here, how many pounds do you want to lose per week? One pound is recommended. You can go, well, depending on how many you want to actually lose, you can actually gain, too. Gain one pound per week, gain half pound per week, maintain. Um, I'm going to put lose two and see what they give me. All right, and you can, uh, once you continue there, you'll get this message. It's for if you want to do this with your friends, if you have friends that also have a MyFitnessPal account. It says that members who diet with friends lose three times as much weight. You can enter their email address and all that. And hit continue or skip. I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to hit skip. Alright, so this is what I can have. My suggested fitness and nutrition goals. This is how I did it the first time I followed this. To a T, I didn't go over at all. I usually finished under the calories it allowed me. I can have 2,080 calories a day. 286 grams of carbs, 69 grams of fat, and 78 grams of protein. Now, of course, if you want to go for muscle gain and stuff, you might want to mess with these a little bit. Here's my target. Calories burned a week. 2,480 calories a week. My projected weight loss is 2 pounds a week. You should lose 10 pounds by March 4th. See, it tells you, gives you an estimate of what you should be losing by certain deadlines, so that way it kind of helps you keep to your goals. Um, just notice now the screen's a little bit crooked, but you guys can still see. Uh, so yeah, that's, that's that. You can hit get started now, and it'll allow you... I'll tell you your calories here. 
They track food, track exercise, weigh in, message board, your profile, all that. So you have your weight loss progress right here. It'll tell you how many pounds you lost right over here. And uh, up here is all the options. You can track your food. Let's click on that. And breakfast, lunch, dinner, and snacks. Tells you how many calories you have left, how many is remaining. One. Quick, let's hit add food. They usually have just about anything you can think of. Let's see what do we want. Let's have a salad. There's gonna be lots of options. You just look for one that looks like. So you got salad dressing, chicken salad, craft salad dressing, Olive Garden salad with dressing. They usually have most restaurants on here. They have homemade stuff. Some people enter it themselves, what they cook and what they think it is. So, but you can find just about any food. You just put it in the search bar up here. Search our food database by name. Click search and look for something that looks similar to what you had. And as long as you do that every day, you stay under your cal a lot of calories per day, and you do some kind of exercise, you're bound to lose some weight. That's it's just down. That's all there is to it. If you're eating less calories than you used to, and you're burning some exercising, and you're staying away from the junk food, of course, you'll lose calories. I mean, you'll lose weight. Yeah, you'll lose calories too because you're eating less of those. But that's about it. Let me know what you think. Let me know if this will help you at all. Um, give me some recommendations of other videos you guys want me to do, and I'll probably do them for you. Alright, thanks for watching. Make sure you subscribe. Thanks for the support.